Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to share your computer internet with the Galaxy Y. You can update your apps, browse the web, watch videos and everything. You do not need any wireless hardware or anything like that. You just plug the phone with the USB cable. Now in the video description I have given you download links to the USB tunnel AP key and the Windows app. So um, once you have downloaded them, extract the Windows app. as you can see and transfer this file to your phone and install it you need root by the way the phone needs to be rooted super success and all that so yeah let's install it on the phone so before installing I suggest you open up super user, go to preferences and untick this option here which shows notifications because we are very annoying So be sure to have this unticked and so let's install it where you have transferred it in the directory. Here it is. Install. And we're done with the with the phone part. Now we have to set up everything in the computer. Now before everything you need to be sure that you have your data connection enabled by going to mobile networks use packet data be sure to have this checked or you won't be able to download stuff from the Google Play so yeah once we have that enabled we start the USB tunnel app from here see it is running first time it may ask you for super user access so accept enable it now we do the PC part so now that we have the app running and packet data enabled we need to start the Windows app keep the phone connected in case your device doesn't appear in the list simply click on refresh devices and it should be there and after it appears click on connect now wait a few seconds until it establishes the connection fully there connection done now while we have packet data enabled we can download from the google play store using the computer's internet access of course this won't charge you megabytes or money even though we have packet data enabled we use the computer's internet this is just to establish a connection while having packet data on you also cannot browse the web so we're going to have to turn it off so to browse the google play turn packet data on to browse the internet turn it off either way you're going to use the computer's internet hope it didn't confuse anyone so right now as you can see it is having problems to connect to the web while we have packet data on but we have full access to the Google Play Store as well as downloading and updating the phone may turn a little slower but you can still use it so let's try for example file expert I'm going to try and update this now which won't charge me a single megabyte on my phone's network By the download speed you can tell that I was not using my internet connection, my mobile connection. There you go, it is installing. So this is good for people that do not have Wi-Fi networks available at home. You can use this to update your apps instead of wasting your data plan. So yeah, 
let's wait for it to install and I'm going to show you if you turn off the packet data you can browse the web there we go it is done and now we turn it off so that we can use the internet let's try this again As you can see everything loads unfortunately this app is quite heavy for our phone as you can see the performance is very bad but it gets the, it gets the job done especially for downloading from Google Play there we go the page loaded now let's check out my address Sorry, that was DSP Manager being a bitch. And this is my computer's app address. As you can see, I'm not using anything of the phone. So yeah, that's about it. Disconnect. Simply open up the app and choose Disconnect Service. And from the computer, simply click on Disconnect close both apps remove the USB cable and you're back to normal hope this helped you thank you for watching